Hello! Oh, I just slammed down on the table. Anyway, hello! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make super easy um, garlic bread. Um, I'm going to be showing you a recipe that my dad taught me how to do. Um, it's quite simple. It just requires a microwave and either a toaster or a micro or a toaster oven. It, you don't even need the stove. You literally just need toast and seasoned butter. So with the amount of people I'm making it for, I'm going to need five pieces of bread. But you just need the amount of pieces of bread as you are the amount of pieces of garlic bread you want to make. So I will say right now, I have not actually tried this recipe before. My dad like just taught me how to make it like today, I think. So I never tried it. He just told me how to make it. So I'm making it. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but um, we are very low on bread. So we are going to start by putting the butter in the microwave for about 10 seconds. And if it's not soft enough by then, put it in for 15. Okay, pop that in the microwave. And set that to... Oh, whoops. Nope, not a minute. Not a minute. Whoops. 10 seconds. And again, if it's not soft enough by then, put it in for another five. Okay, it's not quite soft enough, so I'm going to put it in for another five seconds. All right. So if it's still a little cold, you'll be fine. Hold on, my dog's in here. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, my dog's not supposed to be in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, that's annoying. Okay. So, you're going to take your butter. Hold on, I need a butter knife. I promise, I usually do more complicated recipes than this. I'm just lazy and hungry right now. So you're gonna mush up the butter. By the way, number one rule in cooking, make sure your hands are always clean. I will find you if you don't clean your hands. But make sure your hands are clean. Anyway, so I'm, the main seasoning you'll need is onion powder. Another two seasonings you can add are parsley, parsley and oregano. Um, those are optional, but you need the onion powder. That's what makes it garlic powder. Wait, not onion powder. Hold on. Whoops. Wrong ingredient. Garlic powder. <laughs> I'm not making onion bread. I'm making garlic bread. But you're going to add some of, that's a bit too much, but that's fine. Add some of that. You're going to add some oregano. And you're going to add ah, parsley. And you're just gonna mix that in. So let me just do that real quick. All right, that is fully mixed. I just realized I didn't turn the light on. That's probably quite helpful. Okay, apparently my brain's not working today. I forgot the main ingredient, bread. You need to toast the bread. <laughs> toast the bread, please. All right, bread is toasting. Yes, I use a toaster oven, that's all we have. We do not have a toaster. Because our old toaster was very bad. But once you have this all mixed up, you're just going to wait for your toast to toast. And you're going to spread this on the toast. Um, if you want this to be more um, enveloped into it, you should probably, like, maybe add, <laughs> add it add a little bit on before you toast it. And then toast it like that. And then add on the rest. But that's, I hope this is enough for all three of my siblings, meaning five pieces of toast. Because my brother is getting one piece because I know he's not going to finish it. <laughs> but I'm going to put this away because another rule in cooking, clean up your station as you go. Ah. Also, I forgot an ingredient. Hold on. This is optional. This is if you're just going for like an easy snack. You can use just butter, garlic powder, 
and bread, but you can use cheese. Mozzarella is, my dad said mozzarella is better, but American is also good. Just mozzarella is better. So I would suggest mozzarella because for some reason my dad's good at cooking. I don't know how, but he's really good at it. So I'm going to wait for my toast to toast and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I've mixed the butter to the point where it's quite soft now and I'm pretty sure my toast is almost done. So let's go check. Yes. Almost there. There we go. Yes. My toaster oven doesn't really toast that well, but it's fine. It's still good enough to be considered toast. The front one doesn't usually get toasted as good, but usually they get toasted pretty good in the back. Hold on. Okay, this was the best I had. Let's hope it doesn't explode. That would not be fun. Ugh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hope I don't burn myself because I just recovered from burning myself the other day. And I would not like to get burnt again. That would not be very fun. I don't like getting burnt. All right, let's bring this over to the work area. I don't know why I called it a work area. It's not like I'm heavy loading or something. All right. So it's better to put it on quickly so the cheese will melt well. And so that this will really absorb. I think I'm just estimating based on my cooking skills that I learned from my... A very good cookers of parents. <laughs> My parents are about to cook, okay. Let's see that toasted side. I should do an ASMR. Okay, I should shut up. <laughs> Hold on, let me toast all these. You know what I mean. Yes, I will be using, reusing the plate that had the garlic butter on it. Because I am way too lazy to clean the, just reuse the plate. Or clean the plate to reuse it. Or use another dirty, or just a bit, bit. You get what I mean. I'm too lazy. <laughs> and don't want to use another clean plate. So anyway, this is the last step before putting on the cheese. And you're going to put on the cheese and you're going to enjoy it. Okay? You will enjoy it. Got it? So you aren't going to put on like a bunch of cheese. Like you can if you want to. But I wouldn't suggest putting on like a crap ton. Just enough to like cover the bread. Bread. Sorry, that was a little loud, but I, I, I like bread. <laughs> Bread's my favorite food. Deal with it. I'm gonna be fat when I grow up. I'm not right now. I'm actually quite the opposite of fat right now. Not to brag or anything, but I actually consider myself quite skinny. Ask the scale. I weigh 85 pounds. <laughs> anyway... And that's it. You can wait for the cheese to melt. You can pop it in the microwave. You can eat it with the cheese not melted. Do whatever you want. Enjoy your bread. Bye-bye.